Mass emailing in monday.com is a great way to communicate with multiple people very quickly. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. So let's head straight over to monday.com. Now, a couple of caveats before we get started. Firstly, you need to have monday.com sales CRM. And if you do have monday.com sales CRM, you must have the professional version of the platform. Otherwise, mass email will not be available to you and that's why this won't work. So once we've got that out of the way, I'm gonna show you exactly how to mass email. So the mass email functionality inside of monday.com is fantastic. We can send up to 500 emails at any given time by mass selecting our records. So mass email can be applied to any single board inside of the Monday Sales CRM. And in order to activate it, the only thing we must have is an email column. So you can see here on leads, we have an email column. On contacts, we also have an email column. Of course, on accounts, we do not have an email column, as you can see here, so mass email would not work. However, if you would like to mass email from accounts for whatever reason, you can go ahead and just press the plus, add column, go more columns, search for email, and then go ahead, add that email column, and this will enable mass email. So that's the basics out the way. If you are using custom boards or you're creating your own boards inside of Monday Sales CRM and you haven't got mass email available, that would be why. You have to have an email column present on the board you're looking to mass email from. So it sounds quite logical, right? Once we've got the mass email set up, it is really, really simple. So I'm going to head over to contacts here, and all we need to do is select the contacts that we would like to send the email to. But of course, you might have multiple contacts you'd like to send an email to. So all you need to do is just select the ones or mass select. So I'm, I've just got the one contact here. As you can see here, my email address, nick at crmcrew.com. By the way, if you need any help setting up monday.com for your business, drop me an email. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this contact. And as you can see down the bottom here, we have this mass email option. Now this will allow us to mass email. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and we're gonna be presented with this pop-up screen here. First and foremost, we need to make sure we are sending from the email address we would like to send from. As you can see, it's info at crmcrew.co.uk. You may have multiple email accounts associated with your monday.com account, so just make sure you're selecting the right one. And then from here, we've got one recipient from email column. As you can see, the number will be dependent on the amount of contacts that you've selected. Do bear in mind the maximum amount of contacts you can mass email is 500. And then from here, we need to go ahead and just do what we normally do for an email, which is subject and email body. So I'm just going to put example subject, if I can spell correctly, as per usual, never get the spelling right. And then I'm just going to put example email body. So very basic stuff, but there are a few additional features that we can add. So down the bottom here, we have an AI assistant. If you want to have a test with this, you're more than welcome to. We can attach files as well as part of our mass email. We can use the HTML email layout as opposed to it being a plain text email that you're sending. It's actually a HTML email. So you can add images, you can add creative into the mass email that you're sending. We've also got some bullet point options here if you want to use this. Uh, you don't have to, of course, but just some more functionality. We've got the changing of the font and normal other options that I'm sure you'll all be familiar with. As you can see here, bold, underline, italic, font size, and a few other bits and pieces. Again, I don't think this is overly complicated or anything that will be new to you. And then we've got this three dotted button, which just allows us to give feedback, which is not particularly interesting unless you want to give monday.com some negative feedback. But with this feature, <laughs> I don't think you'll need to. And then we've got email tracking. So we can decide whether this email gets tracking information back. So you can tick it and untick it if you would like to, but I will show you what that means in a moment in terms of the data, but we wanna be able to see how many of the emails that we send to get delivered, and that will be part of the tracking. And then how many of those emails that get delivered get opened that will also be included in the tracking. So it's a really, really useful marketing feature or marketing tool to see the performance of that email and how well it got sent. Um, and I would strongly recommend having that ticked most of the time. We also have columns here. So if you want to auto populate the email with a column, then you can go ahead and do so by just pressing the columns feature and then selecting the column you would like to auto populate. So as an example, I would probably have hi or hey and then their name. So I do hey and then column and then item name being the name for that particular contact. If you're slightly more advanced user inside of monday.com, you'll know to split up first name and last name as two separate text columns. And then you would just go ahead and select the first name and it would say hey, first name, and then you'd have the body. So for each person that you're sending an email to, it will have their own name as opposed to just being a very blanket email, less customized, which I would strongly recommend doing. And then finally, we have templates. So again, we can use the templates functionality. 
if you want to write a template and then save it, we can, as opposed to having to rewrite it over and over again, you can just save a template into monday.com using the mass email feature um, and then just auto populate that email next time you're coming around to do the mass email with that template as opposed to rewriting everything. So to do so, just press save draft as new template. I'm just going to call this example template and then we can decide who we want to share it with just yourself or everyone and go ahead and press save. So next time I'm writing a mass email, I can just go to templates, select that and it will auto populate as you can see here. I'll just remove this information. So I'm just going to remove that. So once you're happy, all you need to do is just press the send button and that will fire off that email to all of the contacts that you have selected. Now I'm not going to do that because um, I've already sent one just as an example for this video. So we've sent our emails. Now we want to see the data collected from those emails. So to do so, go to the mass email tracking at the top left hand corner here. And you will see I sent this just before I started this video as an example. You can see here is launch date. We've got the subject, so test email, just as an example. We've got sent by, so who sent it. Of course, that was me. Um, and then we've got the status, the number of recipients, the delivered percentage, and then the opened percentage as well. So really useful information, and you'll see everything here. You can just press the refresh button if you've just sent it. It takes a little while, maybe 30 seconds to a minute to send all of the emails out and then the data will start to populate over time. If you want more information, just press the open and you can see recipients delivered opened um, and then you can see how many failed to send, who failed to send and the ones that were successfully sent as well. So very useful information there. That is the core of mass email tracking inside of monday.com. One thing to mention, and this is just generally anyway, is the use of filters. So let's say we have lots and lots of contacts in our database but i only want to send emails to partners in our contacts database so to do that what i recommend you do is go to the filter option at the top here use the drop down menu what you want to do is you want to tell monday.com to only show you contacts where the type is equal to partner and then what you can do is mass select all of those so obviously i only have one for the example of this video but if you've got 100 partners then you just mass select all of the partners using the filter criteria. Using this filter criteria, you can create an and or relationship as well. So it could be where type is partner and so on and so forth. So you can start to really boil down who you're talking to. Of course, this then comes down to marketing. The better the message or the email resonates with the person you are sending it to, the more likely they are to one, open it and two, engage with it. So the more specific you can be using filter criteria, the more likely you are to have success from your mass email, especially if it's for sales and marketing inside of monday.com. So hopefully this video was helpful and gives you a quick rundown of mass email inside of monday.com. If you need any help setting up your monday.com system, click the link below. We would be delighted to help. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.